Hey, what's up everybody? My name is Trophinet and welcome back to XCOM 2, our playthrough of XCOM 2 with uh, characters that you guys added. Uh, the Anvent aren't happy, they aren't happy with our guerrilla strikes and have decided to uh, retaliate. And in this mission we're gonna try and, well, limit the damage to the resistance because uh, of course a lot of damage has already been done. But we're gonna try and save as much civilians as we can. So here we go. So since we upgraded the Guerrilla Tactics School, we can now actually take five soldiers with us instead of four as we uh, could previously. I think two Grenadiers is, is a very good idea. So we can use Vryer and Geralt to take on this mission. Um, I think I'm gonna remove the uh, medkit from Benito over here and give that to... Ooh, new veteran customization options available. Oh yeah, because he's a veteran soldier right now, since he uh, attained sergeant rank. But, just want to change out his loadout and give him a grenade instead of the medkit. There we go. Let's give Smongo the medkit instead, since he's going to be our healer. There we go. So now I think he can heal more than he could before with his 8 protocol. Oh no, wait. 8 protocol is just giving someone a defensive bonus. Never mind. Uh, and then I'm gonna give, um, let's give Geralt the flashback, the flashbang, not the flashback, the flashbang. Uh, so let's put that on the utility items and that might uh, allow him to uh, flashbang some enemies. There we go. So that's the squad we're gonna head out with. Geralt, Benito, Humongous, Cedric and uh, Ulrich Edel to fire. Here we go. So as I said before, this is going to be a pretty tough mission because we're going to have to balance this out with being aggressive uh, to save as many civilians as we can, but trying to not get any of our soldiers killed in the process, of course. So uh, begin mission. Advent so-called peacekeepers are hitting one of the resistance camps in this area, and they're taking out civilians and fighters alike. We're deploying to protect as many people as we can. Secure the site and take out any hostile forces still threatening the area. So there we go. Take out every enemy on the ground and rescue at least six civilians. Operation Precious Tome. Trying to uh, save the resistance haven and the new Arctic. Apparently called Emancipation City. Don't know what's happening with the frame rate. Not my fault. I can't really help that. But uh, yeah, here we go. So dropping in, another big difference uh, in regards to the other missions we've done is that we're not in concealment this time. If I'm correct, yeah, no no concealment this time. So no time to waste. Uh, the longer we wait to rescue any civilians, the more casualties there might be. So, uh, and we need to save at least six of the 13 civilians on the map. So civilians are these guys, these uh, circles on the map, so we need to enter that circle to just simply save them. Uh, let's start out with putting Cedric over here. Let's put our sniper in an overwatch position. Uh, it doesn't look like you can see anything yet, so let's push on Roger. as far as we can. Um, there should maybe be someone already dropping down, although we don't have that good of a cover. Don't actually start at a really good position. I might want to push out Humongous a bit further. Maybe he can spot something and put him on uh, in the high cover. Yeah, okay, there we go. I think he saw something. The music started. Yeah. So an officer and a trooper. Of course, in really good cover, but we have a few options here, I think. So we can't hit anything from here. Vryer, of course, has the grenade. We can actually start shooting grenades already, but we could take out this one. Just can't reach the tree over there. I might destroy the tree, but I can't get to the officer. Maybe they'll be uh, more distracted. There we go. Okay, so that's try and get Geralt a bit closer as well. 
do have to put him behind cover, so let's put him right over here. Order's confirmed. On the move. And then Benito can move up a bit further, I uh, hope. This may be flank from this side. Me Down well. here. He won't be able to get a shot off, but... Hmm. It's a bit too early to use the flashbang, so I'm just gonna try and lure them out a bit. So Vryer is the... Ooh, Vryer isn't actually in danger, because... They only see you at the moment. I don't think any of the soldiers can flank you. But if they try and come closer, I'll have a few Overwatch shots set up. Just in case anything happens. And then just move Gerald up a bit further as well. Hopefully not triggering anything else. That's just one tile away. And uh, we can also go into Overwatch. So the officer giving out orders. What's he going to do? Mark someone? Ooh, yeah. Okay, so some... It's a sectoid killing a civilian. There goes Tiffany Brown. Sorry. Sorry we couldn't save you. So that's one less civilian. Anything else? Ooh, don't kill two. Something moved over there. The officer is pulling back. But apparently he still has a shot. But yeah. How the hell did he even have a shot? He destroyed some cover over there. And what's the trooper going to do? Yeah, there we go. Cedric's Overwatch shot with a pistol in the back. Three damage. And then Briar's minigun is going to finish him off. Ooh, he missed. That's too bad. Benito doesn't have a shot, apparently. Okay. Is he going to... Ooh. He went for Cedric. That was... Um, ballsy. So then the... Wait, you did already. Yeah. You did a move already. Don't do anything. Uh, so now we actually have a sniper shot at the officer over there. But what I want to do is that get close enough to save that civilian. So let's see. I don't think anybody is on Overwatch. Let's see. Let's put Geralt a bit closer. Let's put him over here behind the rock. He might get just have now. the reach to take out the officer from here. Or at least his cover. Let's go with the grenade. And... Ooh. Ah, that's too bad. I think those trees are... Solid enough that they don't completely break. So he will still have a bit of cover. That's too bad. I could definitely kill the, the trooper over there. But maybe somebody else should do that. For example, Hugh. Because Hugh... Yeah, I'm going to have to try. I wonder if I put Hugh over here. Is that enough okay. to save the civilian? That's right on the edge over there. No. Okay. Now it has a shot at both the officer and the trooper. So let's try the trooper. Yeah, there we go. Four damage. Really, really nicely done. Neatly taken care of. There we go. One trooper down. And a promotion earned. Hopefully he doesn't get shot right now. 54% uh, on the officer, which is actually pretty nice. Um... Can we put Fryer closer as well? We can. We might want to, because this here is the, the edge of the map, so we might want to move towards the right a bit more as well. Let's try and put Benito a bit closer. Let's put him right over here. Still doesn't have a shot, still doesn't have line of sight to anybody. So let's first try and take that sniper shot on the officer. Should... Well, it's 50-50. It's a coin flip. Don't think we're... Yeah, 0% of critical, so we're not going to kill him. But we might do some good damage here, so... Uh, please, Cedric, please, 50-50. Ooh, that was on the rock. That was too bad. Okay. No biggie, no biggie. Um, what else can we do? We could put Fryer closer. Those grenades are going to come in really handy. I think I'm going to just... Ooh, this is low cover. Huh. Who would have thought... So this is high cover, but this is low cover. That doesn't make any goddamn sense at all. Could put Gerald over here, but I don't know what's going to spawn over there. So that might be bad. What I could do is toss a grenade over there, but I'm not going to do that as well. So let's put him on Overwatch. I don't think we have that much of a choice. Uh, put Fryer over here. There we go. Can you actually see... Oh, you can actually see the guy from there. Can you even put a grenade in there? Ooh. Maybe. 
maybe not. I think we just... Oh, yeah, there we go. Oh, god damn it. If I knew that, I would have done that first. Um... Hmm. Is this worth it? Don't think it is. Um, because we have Hugh over there in lower cover. That's that might be bad. I think I'm gonna put up some overwatches hoping that he doesn't take a shot at you. He is giving orders to another group over there, so yeah, we're gonna kill another civilian. There we go. Don Guo was killed. Sorry, man. Really, really sorry about this. What's he gonna do? Yeah, he's gonna fire. Oh, he marked you. So that means everybody else has got a better shot at him. Ooh. Okay, that was a hit. Four damage. Not too bad. Okay, okay. So that, he survived that. Um, and he didn't panic, which is great as well. So he can heal himself, which is good. Um... So yeah, I think I'm going to go for my original plan. So let's put uh, Vryer over here. And let him just bomb the hell out of that place. Hopefully we don't trigger anything else. No? Okay, superb. And then let's just bomb this place. I think I want to actually put my grenade to the back here. Just in case anything is behind that wall over there. We might take care of that as well. A little surprise for you. And there we go, tree damage, yeah. The tree just stays there, so for some reason that stays full cover, even though the tree has been destroyed, kinda. So we still have a sniper shot, should still be the same, so 54%, which is not a given. Um, but we're gonna try it anyway first. So 54 again, so we did miss the previous time, so 50-50 should mean we're gonna hit now, please, please. Ooh, thank you, Cedric. That was really, really nice. Okay. So that Enemy gives us eliminated. a bit of time. I think the health pack actually heals four damage. I don't want to move up too much, but I do want to save this civilian. So let's put... Let's try this out. Let's put you out in the open, sadly, because there's no other good way to do this. Yeah, yeah, okay. Let's put him over here. Save the civilian. Ooh, what was that? Glad to see the resistance has their new recruits training. They need to be prepared for the next advent sweep of this area. Damn it, Bradford. That was that was that was my heart rate going up. So we saved that civilian. Kinda happened off camera there, but uh let's heal yourself. You know what? I'm gonna wait with that just in case we trigger anything else. Just move up our soldiers a bit first. So let's put Gerald okay. over here on the back. Yeah, okay, so that's that's fine, okay. Uh, you heal yourself, so that should get you back to full health. Uh, yeah, spray yourself, good, 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 good. Okay, 4 HP healed, but... Okay, there we go. And then see the effect? Okay. Um, so yeah, let's put everybody else on Overwatch. So if anything wanders into our field of view, this is gonna end badly. So that's the third one we lost, I think. So we still we should have ten left. Right, Commander. We need to get these people out of here. Yeah, yeah, I know, Bradford. Yeah, okay, so nine left because we saved one. There's one over there we can immediately save. So, uh, Geralt, be, be a nice guy and save that guy over there. On target position now. Anything You're that safe. pops up. We know there's a sectoid over here near the building. Uh, there's another civilian over there. Is there someone on the left here? No? There's someone on the right here. This seems to be the edge of the map as well. So we're going to have to move closer and closer to that building. Ooh, they're going to have that defended really nicely, probably. So yeah, let's push on. Dry on Overwatch and let's put Benito right next to uh, his buddy Humongous here. There we go. Oh, I almost thought he was going to trigger something. Oh, shit. Okay. So, uh... The one civilian we could save just transformed into a faceless. We've heard rumors about some kind of shapeshifters. I'm guessing this is it. It is a remarkable species. If only we had some means. Oh, stop contain. killing everybody! That oh, for fuck's sake! Goodbye, Daniel Evans. 
So that should still give us seven civilians, because I don't think faceless count uh, as civilians. So Briar, take him out. Ooh, how did you miss that? Okay, another one. Five damage. That's really nice, because faceless have a lot of health. Ten on this difficulty, apparently. So there we go. Now he's gonna... Okay. Yeah, so these guys can move. These guys are right in our face right now. Yeah, he's just gonna point, smell his uh, his his armpit there. Okay. Um. So our priority now should we can only lose three civilians now. Otherwise, this mission will be a failure. Uh, we only took out two soldiers yet, so we do need to book it right now. Uh, Sadwick should stay over there. Let's put Vryer. Oh, I do want to have a shot at the uh, sectoid up there. Let's put Vryer as close as we can. Nothing, nothing, okay. Um, I'm gonna put Smongo, because Smongo can uh, apparently move the furthest. I'm gonna just put him over here so he can get eyes on the sectoid, because we do need to kill that fucking thing. Excuse my swearing. There we go, okay. So these are the guys that have been killing the most uh, civilians. Oh, they even dropped down. Which is pretty good, actually. Because uh, that means we can lob grenades. So we have a 100% chance shot at the faceless. And then pretty bad shots at the uh, trooper and the sector. But maybe that can change. So, Friar, you still have a grenade. Well, I'm, uh, I'm supposing you, uh, you use that thing. Ooh, I think we have... Ooh, shit. They positioned themselves amazingly there. That's one or the other I can do. And that tree is not going to budge either, so I should actually do this. Yeah, I'm going to have to. Just quickly going to check out what else we need to do. We need to kill that faceless as well, so... Let's put... Is this full cover? No, it isn't. But this is... How far does your grenade reach? So we're still short a bit, but if we can get a lot closer, we should actually be able to wreck that shot. That's affirmative. Okay, better positions for everybody. We have a frag grenade. We can put that right in between those two guys, hitting both of them. Don't think we get anything better than this, so here we go. Go for it, Geralt. Maybe killing the trooper. Hopefully killing the trooper might save me a shot. Ah, oh, for fuck's sake. The, the sectoid takes four damage, but the trooper does not. Trooper has lost its, uh, his uh, cover, though. Okay. How are the percentages now? 77 on the trooper, 30 on the sectoid. So yeah, I'm gonna let uh, Cedric shoot at the faceless. Because he can take that those five damage uh, points easily. Please, five damage, 100%, five damage. Oh, holy shit, that was cutting it, cutting it close. So Target now we right. have three shots left to kill. Oh, there we go, Cedric, another promotion. Well earned, I must say, because he, uh, he just took out two aliens in this episode already. Uh, and we still have another grenade. Interesting. Uh, so Hugh... You can actually take a really nice shot at the trooper, so 73%. That should take him out. Please? Oh, yes. Okay, 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 okay. We've got this. We have got this. So, uh, I can guarantee a kill now, because uh, Benito can use a shot if the grenade doesn't uh, kill off the sectoid. So, let's frag the hell out of that sectoid and his uh, remaining tree stump. Goodbye, hopefully death. No, no death. Come on, Friar. Four damage, four damage. Oh, three damage. Okay, but that's not bad because now we can use uh, Benito's shock ability. That has come in really handy lately. Oh, so now the tree is gone. So we need to blast the tree twice to get rid of it completely. Nature, ladies and gentlemen, nature. Uh, so if we put Benito right over here, that hopefully doesn't trigger anything else because otherwise we're going to be fucked. Shot is 75%, not gonna risk that. So let's just combat protocol the hell out of that sectoid. Here we go, shock him to death. Yeah, use the drone and take him out. 
Zap. We have any more enemies on the map right now? Because if that was it, that was actually pretty easy then. Because that was only five enemies. Oh no, we still have enemies. Yeah, right over there. And they're still happily killing civilians. Oh, for f Okay. Okay, that guy is... That's one of the civilians. They're all over there. Jesus. Jesus. God damn it, I thought that was it. Um, so let's see. Benito, can you see the Watch aliens from gone. over there? Don't walk through the flames. You can't. Um, I'm gonna have to book it, right? I'm gonna have to book it, because otherwise we're gonna lose too many, too many civilians. Gerald is shaking, so I might wait with him. So let's put... If I put Smongo right next to the window, we saw the sectoid over there. I don't think he has the reach to... Well, reach humongous over there if we put him there. But if we can lay eyes on them, we can actually divert their attention to us. Yeah, there we go. Okay. So that might seem bad at first, but now a few of the civilians actually leave. Do we have a shot with Cedric? No, we don't. No, we don't. But if we move him over to the right, we might actually still have a shot. Let's do that. Spread out everybody a bit. I could use the, f the flashbang Confirm. and try and get him a bit closer and see how far the flashbang actually reaches. Because as you can see, the flashbang has a, a, a big reach. But then, of course, we still need to hit them. And I'm afraid that's not going to happen. So, let's put you, Geralt, right over there. Orders confirmed. Moving out. There we go. Let's put Vryer as close as we can without compromising his defense too much. You know what? Actually put yourself over gone. there. And now we have Benito who can put 8 protocol to Geralt. Or I think we should put it on Humongous. So that's going to grant a 20 defense bonus. Uh, 20 extra points of defense to uh, Humongous. Giving him a bit more defense aside from the full cover. And now we're just going to have to wait. So what's what are they going to do? Please don't kill any more civilians. Try to shoot at us, but miss. Oh, shit. Is he gonna try and... Disorient. Okay, that's that's not the end of the world. What's, it, what's the true shit? Is he just... Oh, my God. That was lucky. That was amazingly lucky. I mean, he outflanked him. Okay, so that's the end of the 8th protocol. But Humongous is now disoriented, which means he uh, has only a very, very low chance to actually kill something. Oh, but Cedric has a shot on the trooper. It's a 50-50 shot, but if that work, how the hell do you have sight on the trooper? I'm not even going to question that. Um, so I'm going to keep Geralt to the last so that we can use his flashbang later on. I'm going to use... Hugh to start saving civilians. Um, can we get right here? Oh, for fuck's sake, we can't. I'm actually going to show you this. If Hugh tries to fire at one closer, 33% and 19% on the sector. So that's other crap, so we might as well use him for something else right now. Uh, so let's get we need to closer, right here in full cover. Is that enough to outflank the sectoid? No, it's not. So the sectoid is still over there somewhere. Uh, that's only a 55% shot. But we do have a grenade. We do have a grenade. But that's not gonna reach. That's not gonna reach. Just, just shy of getting him. So it's either shooting him. Uh, we still have one use of combat protocol left. That's two damage as well. Uh, and we have a sniper shot. I think I'm going to start off with a sniper shot. I mean, if that works, great. Trooper down. If it doesn't, yeah, we're going to have to uh, figure this out a bit differently. Okay. 
So we still have Ryer here as well. Um, I'm gonna put you over here. And now we're gonna focus our fire on the trooper, but I have to be careful. So the sectoid is right over there near the door, which means that if I can get Geralt close enough, for example, say over, yeah, over there, behind a tree, we can actually use the flashbang to disorient the enemy as well. So put it... So we know the sectoid is right there next to the door, so that should actually hit him as well. So flashbang, here we go. So that's gonna lower their aim for the hopefully next few turns. Um, yeah, okay, okay, they're disoriented. That was actually really badly, badly shown. So the trooper is disoriented because it's above his head, the same effect that Hugh has at the moment. Can't really see the effect on the sectoid though. So maybe something blocked it, but I hope not. So yeah, let's try a few 50-50 shots on the trooper. Actually gonna try and use uh, Vryer's mach machine gun first. Ooh, that was a hit. That was a hit. Nicely done. Okay, so the trooper is out of commission. Uh, so the only problem we have now is the sectoid. So I'm gonna move Benito up as well so that if the sectoid... You know what? I'm just gonna put him in Overwatch. I'm just gonna put him in Overwatch. Let's put you over here. It's a risk. Because the sectoid might actually take a shot at either of us. But now there's only one enemy left. So that should be fine. Although I want to get further into this room. But if I go in here, we actually rescue the civilian as well. So yeah, I'm going to take the risk. There we go. Through the window and behind the wall. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Thank you. Three out of six. Hopefully the sectoid... Okay, the sectoid is disoriented. We got that confirmed right now. I wonder what he's going to do. Okay, so he moves cover. He's gonna try shoot at you. Ooh. So that's the power of the flashbangs, ladies and gentlemen. And there goes the car. Okay. So, now, we don't have a shot with Cedric, which is too bad. Uh, Vryer's gun is empty. But, we might have a shot with Geralt over here. Does anybody close by have a grenade? Benito still has a grenade. But how far does that actually reach? Hmm, if I get him to move a bit, might actually take care of this immediately. Let's, let's try this. I'm gonna, this is gonna be risky, because I'm gonna put him Ooh, I'm gonna have to put him over here somewhere. I'm just gonna check it out if it's possible. And then throw a grenade from there. Ooh, this is risky. Out of cover completely. And now we can toss a grenade. Ooh, yes, 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 yes. We can actually take out the wall as well. Hopefully leaving a trail for uh, Smongo, for Humongous and Gerald as well. So, there goes nothing. That's the grenade of a century. Four damage. Whoa, we're doing really good on the four damage. So the sectoid has completely lost its cover. Which is good. Sadly, Vryer still doesn't have a shot. So what's your shot in the meantime, Geralt? 72. I'm gonna put you a bit closer. Uh, right next to this wall, actually. That's actually a pretty good spot. Moving the designated coordinates. There we go. Save I the civilian while we're at it. And then 80%. Ooh. But we do at least four damage, so if we hit, the sectoid is dead. So Geralt, here we go. Please uh, make me proud. That sounds like a hit, six damage. Oh yes, retaliation complete. Kill confirmed. Ooh, and loot. Train ammo fast. Loot. Men is one five, status confirmed. We're not picking up any additional contact. Yes. The AO is clear. Status confirmed, mission accomplished. So one wounded soldier, but our rating still remains excellent. And seven aliens killed. Only took our, us uh, eight turns, and we rescued eight out of 13 civilians. Not that bad, actually. 
So yeah, well, 100% successful shot percentage. That's not correct, but never mind. And a new record for uh, enemy skill per turn, which is nice. And Geralt did the most damage with his grenades. Uh, Ulrich uh, made most attacks, which is also very nice. And Humongous, again, most under fire. He's been taking hits uh, the entire series so far. And Benito moved the furthest. He was uh, kind of our scout this time. But yeah, you guys deserve a rest after that one. That was amazing. You guys are really, really well. Really, I'm impressed. I hope they all go that smooth. Commander. There we go. Great work. Humongous has been uh, gravely wounded, so uh, he's going to be out for 20 days. So not going to join us in the next mission, which is too bad, because with his promotion, he now actually becomes our healer, which is uh, ironic. So medical protocol: the gremlin can perform healing actions remotely. Uh, so we can heal and stabilize. And uh, if we only have a single charge, but if a medkit is equipped, the gremlin will gain an additional charge. So that was what I thought was going to happen before. So, uh, medical protocol it is. And then we have uh, Cedric, also uh, gone to Corporal. I think it's the first... Is that our first Corporal then? No, it's not. No, it's not. Uh, he's going to sergeant, that's what I meant. So our second sergeant uh, right next to his buddy Benito over there. So either Deadeye take a shot with a small aim penalty for a significant damage boost. Or my personal favorite, Lightning Hands. Fire your pistol at a target and this attack does not cost an action. Especially in the early game, Lightning Hands is really really handy. Because we can actually uh, do a bit of damage without actually spending an action for it. So there we go, Lightning Hands it is. And that's it! Nobody else got a promotion, although a few of us, of you guys, got a few hits in, but that's that's it, apparently. Ooh, and we got our first Illyrium, Illyrium core. We can actually make molds with that. So, uh, these small self-contained samples of Illyrium are used to power the alien's beam weapons. We could use them to power a variety of advanced weapons, armors and munitions. And then, of course, a bunch of corpses, under, uh, among which is the uh, faceless corpse. So the new enemy type we just uh, discovered, hiding as masquerading as one of the civilians, sadly enough. And with uh, a few devastating melee attacks, so that's uh, why I was uh, so afraid of it. Because if it could attack, we, he would have most likely killed someone. So there we go, at one time the Tin Men were the most advanced infiltration units available to the aliens. Now we face a species capable of mimicking the human form at will. If you can come to understand how it is that they emulate us so effectively, perhaps we could develop a tool to deceive them ourselves. So hinting at the, the interesting uh, research. To you, Commander, you have still managed to exceed my expectations. Excellent work. So there we go. Monthly supply rewards increased across Asia and income increased by 15 supplies because we were successful in completing our retaliation mission. But that could uh, go either way really quickly. So here we go, soldier recovered. So Geralt was shaken, but now his will is res restored and actually increased as well. So soldiers who recover from being shaken by performing well in combat have their will restored and increased. And there we go. So that was that was a really nice mission. So we have I one day left on the Advent Officer therapy clinic. autopsy. A few minutes under the knife and you've got a clean bill of health. Too bad you need a chip to get in. Yeah, Bradford indeed, because the uh, the aliens have been using the clinics to implant humans with certain chips. The same chip they uh, took out of our heads when we were brought in here. So let's... Uh, I don't think we have anything of interest right now. So let's uh, check the bridge and see what we can scan. Stockade. Commander, after a recent success, members of the Resistance in New Arctic have brought us reports of activity that we may want to investigate. Five days for an engineer, that's Avenger actually really... In oh, that was not what I wanted to do, but hey. Never mind, I don't think there's anything else on the map right now. Oh yeah, we were making contact with West Asia. We might actually do that first. Though it doesn't matter anymore, because the supply drop... It would boost our supply drop, but our supply drop is only due in the next day, so... Not gonna help us there. I'm just gonna go for the engineer first, I think it's gonna help us uh, a bit more. There we go. Autopsy complete. Easier than your last procedure, Doctor. Central, Commander. Yes, I find the process to be far less disconcerting when the subject has already expired. The results, however, 
It's best you see for yourself. My autopsy of the Advent Captain has confirmed the existence of an implant, similar in design to the unit I extracted from the Commander. But there are differences. What kind of differences? The data you see is being pulled directly from this Advent Captain's implant. The sequence here is essentially you, Commander. Or at least the tactical information they were processing through your mind. As you can see, the data is nearly identical. Yes, we can clearly see that. Against us. Yes, however, the Advent data shows signs of decay. Removing the commander from their network has likely caused significant damage. Network? Yes, what we're seeing here is a psionic network. These implants are capable of receiving and transmitting information, a great deal of information somehow encoded in a stream of psionic energy. My working theory? Advent uses this network to augment the tactical readiness of its troops, as well as disseminate orders from its central command. By using our brilliant mind. Even in the subject's diminished condition, the implant continues to have an effect. A truly astonishing achievement. Or a weakness. Potentially. But I need direct access to their network to know for sure. Which is where we come in. That won't be easy. We'd need an active link. And that would mean hacking a live Advent officer. Like I said, not easy. Still, it's the best lead we've got. Your call, Commander. Oh, I want to investigate this because it's one of the coolest weapons in the game. New objective added. And there we go, construct the Proving Ground facility, complete the Skulljack project in the Proving Ground and use the Skulljack on an Advent Officer, which is actually a weapon used by specialists mainly, because it uh, takes their hacking ability into account. It looks like we've got our work cut out for us, Commander. The Advent Captain seems to provide a means of stabilizing the link between the local subordinates and the Advent Network Tower itself. So there we go. So now we have the new facility avail available, the Proving Ground, and new research for the uh, Advent Trooper autopsy Commander, as well we're for the normal to try troopers. To build this skulljack that Tigan came up with, we're going to need a specialized facility to test it out. So the Proving Grounds, an experimental workspace where Shen can test and produce new unique types of ammo, grenades, and armor for our soldiers, as well as other specialized tactical items such as the skulljack. So there we go, so now we have a few a few new uh, items we can research. Uh, mainly the faceless autopsy. Uh, the trooper autopsy has been added as well. Uh, but I think it's high time we go into uh, magnetic weapons first. Because that's uh, really going to help us out if we get a bit of a damage boost. There we go, magnetic I'll weapons. I'll work begins immediately, Commander. I'll contact you when I have a full report available. Yeah, um, I hope so, that you're going to start work immediately. I'm not paying you to sit on your the ass. The administration views our current band of renegades. Do they see us as an actual threat? Or more of a nuisance? So, I think for now they're still seeing us as kind of a nuisance, but uh, let's keep scanning for the engineers. We're gonna get our supply drop in a minute as well. There we go. Priority message coming through, Commander. Putting it on screen now. You have made considerable progress against the aliens over the past month, Commander. I hope that your ongoing efforts will only lead to further success. So there we go. One retaliation stopped, one guerrilla ops completed, and one council mission completed. And we investigated two of the rumors on the map. And we now we got an extra 140 supplies. Um, while I say that, we get that uh, 140 supplies, and that's actually not true. Commander, we have intel suggesting because that just the appears on the map. Our supply drop threaten our ability to stop the Avatar project. We can conduct guerrilla operations to disrupt one of these efforts, but we'll have to choose carefully. We don't have the resources to intercede everywhere. So there we have dark events. Um, so these dark events are negative effects for us, and we actually get one of the worst ones immediately. Um, Hunt XCOM actually. So in five weeks, we're gonna have the next retaliation strike. But uh, they're preparing to uh, 
start two other dark events. Hunt XCOM, a UFO hunts the Avenger, which actually concludes in one of the hardest missions in the game, sadly. Uh, and the other one is Advent Midnight Raids. Advent cracks down on resistance recruit recruitment, increasing the cost of recruits by 100% for a month, which actually, which is actually not that bad. I really want to take care of that UFO first, but uh, we're gonna have to do that with more guerrilla operations. Commander, the Resistance has a hidden cache of resources stashed outside of Advent's reach. But that means we'll have to fly over and scan the area if we want to recover this stuff for ourselves. So if we want the supplies, we need to actually physically fly over there and scan the area to get those supplies, which is a bit harder to do than in the previous game, of course. Uh, so I'm not gonna head there yet, although it might actually come in handy. Hmm, three days for the supply drop. We actually need to fly over there as well. So let's just first finish the engineer. Hopefully nothing happens. There we go. Engineer Malin Johannesson. Thank you for that. We still have a supply drop available. I know. So there we have another engineer. I'm actually going to pop back out quickly. And I can, I think, start excavating the other room now as well. Now that we have a second engineer. There we go. Starting to get a bit more space. So let's head back to the bridge. And uh, get our supply drop. I think we're not going to get it immediately. Avenger Probably going to have a mission before that happens. I also think one of our recruits is going to level up in a second. There we go. Kristoff has officially turned into a ranger. Uh, we don't really need to check up on him. He just uh, got the class ranger. So there we go. Carry on. And we actually got a room cleared as well. So that's is something we're gonna check out first. Ooh, we're running out of power, okay. Yeah, that was gonna happen eventually, so let's build a power relay right over here. Power relay construction initiated. There we go. So she's now gonna try and build that, and that's gonna have to complete before we can build anything else. Um, I'm actually gonna check out the Guerrilla Tactics School as well, and maybe put in one of the other rookies too. We actually could use... I'm going to select Jazz Gypsy and let's put him in as... We could use another Ranger or we could use a third Grenadier. Um, let's go for the Ranger so that we have two of each. That might be uh, handy. Let's check this out as well. Yeah, we don't have the supplies anymore after we built that, uh, that power relay. So let's go to the bridge and continue scanning our supply drop. One day, so we get supplies per day. We don't need to... Oh, there we go. We don't need to uh, keep scanning those three days for all the supplies to get to us. Each day we get, of course, a third of the supply drop. But, guerrilla operations. Can we disable the... Uh... Ooh. That is too bad. So we can't disable the UFO just yet. We're gonna disable the... Uh... We're gonna counter the, the advent midnight rates um, dark event. Just too bad, we're gonna get 89 intel from this mission if we're uh, successful as well. So that's always handy. Operation Doom Mask, uh, let's check it out. Setting course for the Arctic. Let's see what squad we're gonna take to uh, that mission as well, because uh, we're gonna have to make some changes. So, I think for the first time, right now we're gonna remove Cedric for a minute so that we can level up Trophy Nut um, or Vinny as his friends call him and then we should actually take another one of our starters so let's take Christoph with us for the first time so he's sporting a shotgun um, and I might actually put that hair trigger we found earlier on his uh, shotgun as well so weapon upgrades and let's give you the hair trigger so 5% that shot will not cost an action there we go Thank you. And that's it. So this is a squad we're gonna head out with. We're gonna take Ulrich, Christoph, Vinny, Benito, and Geralt on our next mission. But before we do that, we're gonna take a little break. So thank you guys enormously for watching. If you enjoyed the episode, don't forget to like it right here on YouTube. And if you haven't already, don't forget to give it a thumbs to subscribe to my channel. Because I really appreciate any support you guys can give me. 
So thanks again enormously for watching, and I hope to see you in the next video or series. Goodbye!